What's up guys? Doing a real quick video before I go outside. I'm dressed up for this shit. Looking all nice, all black, everything. Alright, very quick side note. Um, I started editing my videos. Well, my girlfriend did. And uh, you can check out the thumbnails. They look pretty cooler, you know, more clickable. But yeah, so that's what's going to be up from now. Anyways, to go on with the video, today I want to share with you something that I have been observing for the last couple of weeks. Month, maybe, at most. Uh, and it's something that I've been experiencing myself a lot in the last couple of years, as you can tell, and that is this. Should you work for somebody else or should you be an entrepreneur? It's one of the biggest topics in people our age at this, um, you know, people our age. Just to give you a little bit of the background story, I went to uh, school in my country, Bangladesh, until the start of high school. Then I went to Thailand for... Um, ending high school and then here I am for college in New York and I just graduated last year and this is something I've been seeing kind of trickle up um, in all three of these places which is which makes it so interesting I'm seeing some of my friends here I even have like some messages right now that I got yesterday about these ideas that people are getting and then mostly it's to do with people back home because I feel like they're the ones who get hit the heart the most people in my country because um, they just come from a lifestyle where they have big industries, their parents own a lot of big companies, huge tons of cash flow, they never had to do anything, you know, too much to make any kind of money in their life. Um, they got a full write off to college right off the bat, and now finally the time has come, they're graduating, they want to start their own business. So, my friends, they recently have Skyped me, and I don't want to give too much details about them because if they watch this video in the future, they'll be pissed. <laughs> And we had a good chat about catching up, but also I gave them some advice on what they should do. And some of the things I told them really surprised them, which is why I got the idea to make a video out of it because it's very important. So hear me out. The story goes like this. You're getting out of college, now you finally have to make the decision. You either work for in the country you are, and for international students, you can go back home, start something yourself, or you can work in your dad's business, right? Whatever the case is, basically what I'm seeing most people go towards is they wanna start their own business. They wanna be entrepreneurs. And the first thing I always ask is this, what is the main reason you want to be an entrepreneur? And I'm not looking for any kind of um, emotional, too emotional answer with this. It's very, looking more of a logical answer even though I do understand there's something about this that the heart should be involved obviously but I'm not trying to make it a tumbler show right it's not what is the reason you feel inside to go this direction it's like why is it that even though you have a whole business that your dad has built we should probably learn being the only son of how to run it before he dies and you lose it all why do you pick to walk across the street and start it from dirt scratch right that's what I'm trying to really talk about and the answer I get is very common with what answers you'd get online when people are looking at basically trying to convince themselves to choose entrepreneurship is I want to start my own thing. I want to be my own boss, right? You want to be your own boss. And this is how I break that down. You will always work for somebody else. I hate to break your bubble, but you will always be a slave to somebody else. Now the slave may be a harsh word, but it works both ways. You'll always be serving somebody else, especially in entrepreneurship in the beginning. Yes, that's right. Take some time to di digest that. <laughs> when you're working, first of all, just to set some basic log, we're in economy, we're in civilization, walking about, and people have money in their pocket. That guy has some money probably in her pocket right now. They probably have some money in their bank now. And the fastest way for me to take it from them is actually exchange it with a service or a product that I have that they need or want. That's as simple as it, as it is. Just go, say, hey, I have this thing, give it to me, and I'll give it to you. Just send some money in my bank. That's all it is, right? Point being, where the rubber meets the road is there has to be a sale that takes place, right? With that being said, when you're starting a 
new business, you have to convince these people to take a leap of faith and buy something that they have no like branding in, that they don't trust from before, right? It's, it's pretty difficult. They have to trust you first and then they have to trust the product. All these goes into it, without getting too much into it, you are going to be working for them. I don't care what you say, how much integrity you say you have and stuff like that, but in the beginning when you're scratching and clawing your way through, any person who shows some interest in it, you're gonna be ahead of them and always there to give them more comfort, more support, more information to make sure they go ahead and go through with it with the sale and happy with it and they stay happy with it. Things like that, right? That's gonna happen. The next thing I feel like people get all worked up about, about a job is like, okay, it's structure nine to five bullshit. I don't wanna be like sucking up to people and being around people that I don't like, stuff like that. And the answer comes very similarly. You're gonna have to suck up to people if you're an entrepreneur, especially in the damn beginning. I was doing insurance. That's not even a full like entrepreneur, but it's way more closer to the you know rawness than a normal job. And I had to suck up to so much people, especially in the beginning. I couldn't be choosy. Oh, I'm not gonna go to your house just because you don't have a full family and you're not a high income area. I didn't, I couldn't do that in the beginning. I had to go to everybody like a mad dog, try to get everything I can. As time goes on, you can kind of be selective, but it takes a longer process and you can't really be thinking about it in the beginning. It's, it's like it just comes, right? So those are my two things that really shook up uh, the friends I had and they were just like, oh wow, like, you know, what the hell? It's not really what they were expecting to hear, but it's important because a lot of times I feel like the reason this happens is because we have so much things we look up on Google nowadays and it's all these Tumblr type beautiful sayings. They say, you have it in you, you can do it. Whatever you, have, whatever you have inside, that raw feeling, if you can manifest it, that will sell. Although all those things are true, it's probably um, felt to the full degree, as they're stated, later, much later down in the road. And it's almost a disservice to get too occupied with it in the beginning. So if I was able to bang out your dream for entrepreneurship with these two ideas alone, probably the chances are you won't have what it takes to go through the 80 hour work weeks, the no break whatsoever years it takes to make something worthwhile happen. Now, I'll admit, all this is pretty difficult for me to admit in the first place is because I am scratching my way and carving my own path to somewhat great degree. And happens to be I'm an advocate for entrepreneurs. But that being said, I still have to keep it realistic and the people who are walking into the direction with a completely wrong you know, expectation, they, sh they need to wake up. As I'm making this video even, I'm getting so many ideas to share here and there that could deviate and make its own little video all of itself, which I probably will do, but I'll step back and wrap this video up with um, something that Gary Vaynerchuk said. This is the big picture. In the end, let's say you're somebody who makes just 25K a year, but you're part of the bowling team. You spend a lot of time with your kids you have an amazing relationship with your partner and you have a job that you're decently content with. You're doing pretty well. Consider a hero, in his eyes at least. But at the same time, if you have every one of those things, but you complain, then my friend, it's a different game. Then you have to, it's your responsibility to get out there and find what needs to be changed and go after it. But other than that, until then, don't worship common phrases like, I wanna be my own boss, I wanna start my own thing because that's what I have to do. Don't get worked up about those common sayings without first thinking about some rational directions that are all laid up for your life and what makes sense, right? <sighs> Peace out, guys.